Hey guys, it's Trisha. I'm here tonight to do a non-DMC unboxing. I had to um, finish some cross-stitching homework. And it's kind of right down to the wire for a Sunday night. But I got it done. Yay! I mean, I still have fun doing it. I was just, you know, under a little bit of a time crunch. But it got done. Yay. I And this is my, you know, kind of my reward. Whew. Okay. And it will allow me to relax a little bit before... We go to bed. Okay. Any second. A little colder in here than I thought it would be. I, ha I still have my hoodie. I can throw it over my legs. And I should be nice and comfy. Alright, let's turn this around so it's in the right direction. And as you can see here, just those. It's just where I, I throw the drill. So this doesn't need to be in the center since it's not, not as, you know, involved as DMC drill storage so we can throw it over there and so I have both of the mandalas that I did a review on a um, day or two ago and we're just gonna use some of my small my bin o baggies and these are the one and a half by two that I get from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby which is the only craft store I have in town at the moment. I'm hoping that changes in the future and today I have I have a list of Christmas related questions to for something to talk about as I do these and thank you to Rachel Ray for providing the link for this alright so as you may remember I'm oops excuse me that was a little bit of, of a fart um, if you heard it I'm waiting for my order from AliExpress to get here and after it does, I will start working on making my color cards. Once my color cards are, are finished, then I can use those to try to incorporate some of these into the main drill storage. But we'll see. Alright, so let's just stack these to make it a little bit easier. And we'll grab out the first row of them. I don't think I have any dryer sheets in these, so it should be pretty easy to unkit them. Alright, so let's let's just get started on these questions. Alright, so what is your favorite Christmas carol? Ooh. <laughs> okay, so my favorite Christmas carol from pretty much my entire, you know, t you know, child, teen, life, whatever, and adult is Winter Wonderland. Just something about it. I've always loved singing it, even though I can't sing very well. My husband is pretty adamant that I'm, you know, relatively tone deaf. I do sing in the car, and I might sing at work a little bit. Um, usually when I'm not, when I don't, when my coworker isn't there, because I do enjoy singing. I just, I can't sing very well. So you know what? Let's subject you guys here for just a little bit of the song in case you don't know what I'm talking about so <sighs> sleigh bells ring are you listening in the lane snows a glistening 
A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight, walking in a winter wonderland. Gone away is the bluebird, here to stay is the new bird. He sings a love song as we go along, walking in a winter wonderland. I could go on. I mean, I love, love, love that song. But I can say also, one of my really, really, you know, a favorite of mine. Um, and it has to, well, there's two. There's two, and they're very specific to, you know, the rendition of it. I love the original Eartha Kitt Santa Baby. That one is just absolute perfection. I don't understand why they feel the need to redo it. <laughs> because, yeah, that one is just the bomb. Her, her inflection, her voice, a little in accent, and just the way her voice sometimes purrs, it's amazing. And then there's the other one that, um, the original is not my favorite. I really prefer, ooh, what's the name, I mean, what's the name of it? I think like it's, um, Baby It's Cold Outside, is that it? Um, the one with Zooey Dashnell in it. Something, I mean, there's just something about it. I really do. She may not have the best voice, but she has a quality to her vo her singing voice that I really enjoy. So, alright. Which, number two on this list is which Christmas candles are your favorite? Well, first of all, we we generally we don't burn candles. Um, it's just something you know. I've gone through a couple of periods in my life where I burn candles, but here we don't. We're just there's no good places in our house to put candles. And we're too safety conscious. You know, candles are, can, as far as I'm concerned, candles can be quite dangerous. Any, any, you know, it's an open flame. Who knows what could go wrong. This might change in the future. When we're living somewhere else. In a different house with a different layout. But right now, no candles in this house. Except for the battery-operated ones. We do do battery-operated candles. But as far as candle scents go, let's see. Christmas, I do like the blends, you know. There's the ones that kind of smell like baked apple, cinnamon um, baked apple. And I do like the evergreen smell too. But and then there's there's a dark berry one that's kind of like you know Christmas wreath berry. I don't know. Those are those are kind of the ones I like. Ooh, and my all-time favorite doesn't even have to be Christmas is vanilla. I love, I love the smell of vanilla. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. What's the best gift you've ever received for Christmas? That would be my engagement ring from Jason. So I told, in the last one, I, t I told you how he proposed to me. Little, little teddy bear. 
with an engagement ring between his two paws. That was perfect. That, that was the best, best gift ever. And for, okay, for adult, that, that was my best adult gift. Now, the, the couple of things oh, as a kid. <laughs> okay, so I think I was five. My parents, my mom caught, I mean, she snapped a picture and at just the right moment. So there's she, there's a picture of me. I don't know if it, I don't know if it exists anymore. Mom lost a bunch of pictures to a, um, a flood in a basement in one of the apartments she lived in. So I don't think we still have the picture. But I ripped the paper on that gift and she snapped the picture. The look of pure joy on my face was unmistakable. They got me a sit and spin. <laughs> oh, because I so wanted that thing and they got it for me. So I, that was one of the, the, one of the best things. And this, I mean, I, I, I got my son to sit and spin, but they really were not, they're not making them the same way. His, his wasn't, he didn't have as much fun on his as, as I did mine because they're just not made as well. They're very flimsy these days. Mine was pretty solid. I, I spun until I da damn near made myself sick. That was part of the fun. You'd sit on it and you would grab that thing and spin. And then you get so t woozy, you'd literally just fall back <laughs> and lay there, you know, with that dizzy feeling. So that was, that was one of the best childhood gifts that I remember getting. All right, so. Let's go for number, f some of these questions I might just skip past. I'll read them and then I'll decide. What is your unusual plan for Christmas? Well, I mean, one thing that we're doing differently this year, we put up a small tree. We didn't put up one of the big trees. We have a, we, have, we, we got it for some reason in the past, so we've we had it. It's just a little two-foot tabletop tree. And because uh, we almost, you know, just haven't really felt like decorating. So this was kind of a compromise. We don't have the energy to decorate a big tree. So we just decided we'll do a little tree and that'll work for us. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do it this year but one of Jason's well it'll probably come along in another another question but I will I will just put it here too. I, mean, I might have to repeat myself but oh well one of Jason's favorite Christmas dinners to make is his homemade lasagna, which is really good, really good. So he likes to do that. It doesn't happen every crif Christmas, but enough of them that it seems to be one of, it, it's basically a tradition for us. Okay, I can see right now that, um, Next time I'm at Hobby Lobby, I'm going to have to grab a few packages of these since I'm have. But then again, once I have my color cards 
and I start emptying those bags, I can put some of them back in here. So we'll see. We'll have to find where the good balance is between, between them. Alright, so... Alright, so how do you decorate your Christmas tree? So, in a normal year, I mean this year it's a small tree. We got, we got some small ornaments to put on it. It'll be a pretty simple affair. We have made it a point since we moved here to, to the, we moved back to the States from Germany in November of 2004. Yes, 2004. So since that that year of Christmas, we we bought a we bought a tree that was pre-lit. That was the first one that we had that was a pre-lit tree, and yeah, we're like we will never again buy a tree that's not pre-lit. So that's our. Our thing. I start with a pre-lit tree. Then I th usually I throw on the garland, and I like I like the tinselly, sh uh, shaggy kind of garland. And I put the garland on, and then somebody whether it's my son or myself or my mother-in-law or what, or the combination thereof we put all the ornaments on which includes includes the um, tinsel I'm gonna have to figure out a way if it, they're basically just it's a strip of metal it's twisted in a spiral and it has a hook it's bend on one end for a hook and those are the coolest coolest tinsel replacement things I've had them for years so all right so that's the first one done trying to figure out where I'll just throw it underneath here and then bag these up get a get a three by four make it easy for myself to get these in there okay so then so our ornaments consist of a combination of your standard Christmas bulbs um, baubles because one year when I was, um, I was deployed to Inserlik, Turkey, one year during Christmas. And so after Christmas happened, the, you know, the store that had all the Christmas decorations on the base like put them on sale like really <laughs> basically like 80 90 percent off so since I you know I was still still relatively young at the time we've been here a long time um, I went and bought a bunch of all different color all different colors packages of those bulbs and I shipped them back to Jason in Germany um, because military mail in Europe or you know in basically outside the United States is set up in such a way um, if you're going from base to base you have the option of putting SAM on it so space available mail so you don't pay for it. You just put SAM on it, and whenever they have room on whatever aircraft is going from point A to point B, they throw it on to fill fill the gaps. 
and since that kind of thing I was not really concerned about how, how long it took to get there I was able to ship it home for free <laughs> so that was pretty good all right so we have our standard Christmas bulbs we have a smattering of odds and ends um, ornaments that you get over the years we have ones that I've made um, I have these ones that I made from following a YouTube tutorial and it's just using pipe cleaners and plastic beads you know the little tri beads that have the three little lobes on them and regular um, round crit, uh, faceted beads and they are so pretty when when they're on the tree and the and the tree is lit they just so darn pretty I love those things now I have others that I I've made I made one that was basically the short popsicle sticks glued in um, th three of them glued so that they're in the shape of a snowflake and then along the length of them flat back crystals and they're pretty those they're, they they add shimmer to the tree when the, when the room is dark and the tree is lit but they also add some color and texture because I painted the painted the popsicle sticks a very shimmery ice blue before I put the crystals on and so they add they add a nice layer of um, shimmer and color both on a lit tree and a non lit tree Let's see what else do we put on there we have we have some bows um, just red velvet bows that we put on and it's just a mishmash of different ornaments I don't go for, I don't go for a specific theme you know I just like a very eclectic tree so that's how that's how it gets gets decorated oh and see if the if the question comes along later I'll just have to skip past it so our tree topper when we first got here I looked and I couldn't find a tree topper that I liked and rather than spend money on a tree topper that I'm not going to be happy with I just made one so using using a cereal box and tin foil I cut out a star I covered it in tin foil and then I put a loop on the back so that it would go over the, the top pinnacle of the tree and we used that for several years and then I finally found the one that I wanted it's it's a star shape it's got a metal you know cage and it's the lights are on the inside and the cage is little swirls curly cues and swirls and it's so pretty it is absolutely pretty and the swirls have beads on the ends so it's just when it was one of the ones when, when I saw it I knew right away that was that was it it took a few years to find it but when I did I knew it, that was the one and it's so pretty okay so let's see next one <laughs> what is your favorite Christmas movie so let's see my favorite one is home for the holidays holidays with Holly Hunter that one is just so so quirky 
but still, you know, emotional. So that that one just it it does it's I love every time I see that it's on, I'll watch it kind of thing. Now my fi um for kid time, it's a toss up between the Grinch, how the Grinch stole Christmas, the original, and Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. I like Rudolph a little bit more than I like Frosty the Snowman. I still like Frosty the Snowman, but not as much. But yeah, and if if you wanna say that it. A lot of people like to say, "Well, that's not a Christmas movie," but I still kind of I still kind of consider it. Die Hard. Die Hard is a movie I can watch over and over and over again, and you know it has a very strong Christmas theme. So, all right. So, have you ever celebrated Christmas alone? Yes and no. Um. I, you know, there's been uh, some years between my first marriage and the one, you know, my current marriage that I, I was alone, but while you're in the military, you're never alone alone during Christmas. There are enough people who open their homes to single airmen that if you choose not to spend Christmas, you know, alone, you you can always go somewhere and hang out with other people. But then again, <clears throat> I've always been comfortable being by myself. So on the few occasions where I was alone during the Christmas. I was fine. And I mean, of course, with us being in the military, there were times when Jason was deployed for Christmas, and there's times I was deployed for Christmas. So, it's just one of the, one of the things that is a reality that you just learn to deal with. And so, it might be one of the reasons why we're not horribly sentimental about being, you know, all together for Christmas. I mean, I had big family gatherings when I was younger. I, when I was in my early 20s, I did go home a couple of times for Christmas. To spend with family, with my big family, but you know, I didn't feel the need to go home every year. Okay, well, as you can tell, my my voice, I don't, I don't talk a lot constantly. So it gets a little raspy towards the end end of these videos, but we're making good progress here. Like I said, this I I really enjoy doing these types of tasks. So this was kind of my reward for getting my my cross stitch tasks done. Okay. The number eight, which track is your favorite? I don't have no clue what they mean by that. Don't know whatsoever. Track. I mean, maybe that's your Christmas song, but they already asked that one. So we're just going to skip that one. Okay, number nine, which thing do you use at the top of your tree? The star, like I'm, I mentioned. Ten, what is your favorite Christmas fragrance? It's kind of the same as the candles. Um, I gotta say my absolute favorite is vanilla. <laughs> I, but that's an all-year thing. I love the scent of vanilla. 
I think part of it is um, my mom always wore vanilla. She she got a a cologne from Watkins that was a vanilla scent, and she wore that for many many years. I have gone looking for it, and as best I can tell, Watkins doesn't make it anymore. If I am wrong, if you know of some place I can get that, please, 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 please tell me. Okay, so what do you like the most during Christmas? Ooh. Now, I don't always like to decorate. Um, some years I just don't have the energy to do it. Or the time. But most years I will decorate. I... At work, okay, so at work I decorate, I have, I have a wreath that I made out of computer circuit boards. So I had a, I had to dismantle a bunch of computers for my job, and I do like to hang on to parts and pieces. So I had a stack of the same shape and size, um, about about kind of like this in width and about this long a nice pretty green as the base and so I was in the process of making Christmas stuff out of computer parts and I looked at that stack of circuit boards and got the idea so I arranged them in a circle and then areas where they had holes that kind of coincided I used um, wire to twist them together and then other parts where I felt they need to be anchored I used um, a big dollop of E6000 and I, I made that thing s several years ago I put it up every year at work and it's still still going strong so I fixed them into the wreath shape and then I took a wide red velvet ribbon and I wrapped it around it and then I put a big velvet ribbon bow at the bottom and it's it turned out really good so that's what I put on my door of my office at work and it's been over 10 years now that I've been using it and then I just put garland up um, around the door frame and around the windows. And I do like to put lights up at work, but I haven't gotten around to that part doing that yet. In in my new in my new ish office. We've been in there for for a while now, but because you never know when we're going to get moved to a different space because I do like to do that a lot at work is move shops around um, I haven't quite got my Christmas decorating to a you know to a perfect you know level of perfection there yet so, so decorating I the okay so I love wrapping gifts I absolutely and just so enjoy wrapping gifts so I will wrap I will wrap the gifts for my family I will offer to wrap gifts for other people at work hey you don't want to you don't want to wrap your gifts bring the stuff in and I will wrap them for you I've participated in several squadron fundraisers where you put up a table at the BX, um, the you know department store on base, and um, people give donations for you to do the wrapping for them. Almost as much as 
I like getting gifts for people. I love finding the perfect little gift for someone. So, all right. So that's it. We're done with that one. We'll just get these these other ones bagged up. And let's see, is this, is the next one a good... Okay, so, favorite thing to do for, for Christmas. You gotta understand, I currently live in the desert. In the southwest region of... New, the, um, the, the south central region of New Mexico. So it's very different from my childhood, but when I lived in Wisconsin, I loved all sorts of winter stuff. So going out in the snow and making snow forts and having snowball fights and making snowmen, going sledding, going ice skating. Um, skiing, I love to go skiing, and just walking through the woods in the winter. It's always good. You just have to, you have to know, you either have to know the region or the area that you're walking in or know how to um, see the signs so that you don't step into a creek <laughs> that hasn't quite frozen over. So that's yeah, that's a thing. Now, one thing I never quite got into was ice fishing. <laughs> not quite, not quite my jam. So those are things I love to do during Christmas. It's all the winter stuff. I love winter. All right, well that's that's it. So we're done for tonight. Two kits are de kitted. Okay, I don't have, I don't, I probably, probably, I can't guarantee, probably won't have a kitting up anytime, like really soon, because I just started the Rainbow Budgies at work. I'm working on my Advent project at home, and I have another kit that is already kitted up that I think I want to start next. It's a squares. So if I decide to start it, um, I might do a quick short video to show you guys, hey, this is this is what I'm starting next. I already have it kitted, so yeah. All right. So thank you for joining me for this um, de-kitting video, and we'll catch you next time. Happy crafting.